Okay, first thing is we're grabbing the janky cart. I haven't been uh, filming any sessions or uh, episodes of this in a while. Uh, every store I've been to in the last, oh gosh, month or two since the last video uh, just wasn't anything on the shelves nothing of any interest I don't know I think I may have bought one or two items but it wasn't on one of the normal places that I go to and we got a guy clearing the shelves just going through dragging stuff off throwing it away This fan's a little interesting. It doesn't look like it has much of a blades on it, so I doubt it moves much air, which is probably why it's here. <coughs> Still looking for that one specific stereo that I want to replace the one I have, and haven't found anything at all like it. Uh, this item is an HD radio that was here the last time I was here, about two or three weeks ago. There's no cord for it, and I have tons of cords, but the problem is I can't test it without a cord, and absolutely no device in this building, nothing on the shelves, has the same cord. And they don't have any extra cords up anywhere. They don't seem to have any wall warts. AC adapters, extra cords, nothing. If it doesn't have, if the cord isn't attached to it, they don't seem to provide it with the with the device here. The Goodwill employee was making it really annoying because that's a uh, 24 volt impact wrench. He was really making it annoying because he was just everywhere and in the way and blocking the aisles. Really, just nothing to talk about here. There's, uh, there's only a bit more stuff on the shelves than there was the last time I was here. kind of making a second pass through this thing but it's just really nothing and then I find this Yesu I don't know how it's pronounced transceiver it's uh FTC 1123 price is 849 so basically a 
ham radio transceiver battery is broken and don't know if it holds a charge haven't had a chance to test it yet but uh, we'll take a chance on this for eight dollars minus senior discount Now, I spotted this and it, uh, I really wanted to take a look at it. It's an old stereo. It's, uh, it's from the 70s, probably mid to late 70s. It's a console. And I could not get it to open the, the top should have been able to open it just by pushing down on it and it should have just sprung up but it it wouldn't open it there was no lock or release mechanism or anything i can tell you that it's 70s because of its size it's small back in the 70s when console stereos went to transistors they started shrinking because they were going out of going out of style people weren't as interested in having a giant stereo in their living room you know because transistors are small and all and uh, it looks like they wanted only 25 bucks for it but not worth really worth it the the they were pretty junky and garbagey by this time the real good ones are when they still had tubes in them So, after a few minutes, I just gave up. And on to the next store. Grab a janky cart. Green tags today. But as usual, I don't pay much attention to the color of the tags. And we skip that aisle because there's water all over it. There hasn't been a lot of stuff in this uh, Goodwill either. Last few uh, trips through it, it wasn't much on the shelves. A little more stuff. That's a Mitsubishi car stereo, older style. I really like those. If I had it my way, I uh, wouldn't have any type of stereo other than the older ones with the knobs. The new ones with their uh, joysticks, buttons, and ridiculous flashiness are pretty dangerous to 
to use while driving. The old ones, you can just use them. You don't even have to look at them. And you can, can use them. Battery chargers. a propane stove it's all there that's a little single little computer UPS they wanted a uh, $18 for it which that's basically a ripoff battery for that thing would would cost you uh, if you got it off eBay, about $30, $15 maybe, but if you get it from Batteries Plus, it'd be 35 And that's just a battery-powered lawnmower. They want way too much for it. Pretty typical. Bingo. It's a nice tool belt, but I already have one. There seem to be certain times of the year that it really, uh, the, the stuff that they have just seems to dry up. I don't know if it has something to do with, you know, people donate at certain times of the year or, or what the deal is. I know that there's a, a huge amount of, uh, it's a stereo installation kit. There's a hum, huge amount of, or a large number of lawnmowers that show up in the spring because everybody pulls their lawnmower out, tries to start it, can't get it to start, and they get fed up with it because this is a, you know, second or third, fourth year in a row, and they're just done with it. They don't realize that it can be easily fixed, and in many cases for maybe less than... 60 bucks. Heck, they could even do it themselves. If you took it in someplace, you, it's not worth it. They'll charge you as much as a new lawnmower, but I just recently fixed a lawnmower that I was a street find. It cost me $60 to fix it. We got it for nothing. And here I'm looking for old cast iron sometimes goodwills have them a lot sometimes they don't 
this is not old cast iron. Neither is this, though it is interesting, it's got those rings on it. Um, it's just too clean and nice for it to be old. Those rings on the bottom are meant to go into the holes of a wood stove. And that also is not old stuff, it's from China, it even says it. I think we'll just head on. A, oh, here's a, was a chafing dish or something like that. I think it was 25 bucks. And on to the next. Grab the janky cart. Don't know if you can notice, but in these stores, they've got the Halloween garbage out every year. They they bring it out earlier and earlier, and it's it's all junk and takes up space. And I wish they wouldn't sell it. It's leave it up to Walmart or someplace to sell that. A couple of uh, old hubs or switches. There's an old cassette deck. Looks like to be a more professional model, maybe. Checking the camera to see if it's got a memory card in it. Found many cameras with memory cards in them, and the picture's still on them. This is a Kodak slide projector, and they want way too much money for it. $49. It's a newer model. It's very good condition, but I already have one. No memory card. I don't know exactly what that was for. It said something about for installing tile shade. It was just like plastic, solid plastic cordage of some kind. There's a little table saw down there and a chop saw. Be interesting, but except I already have one of each of those. Not that brand, those brands, but.
not much in the way of lawn equipment here. Said so that it, it, it's only in the springtime. Going through for a second pass. Don't know. Gas can. Don't know how much they wanted. I have spouts for it, but I already have half a dozen gas cans. This Coleman lantern, it's all there except the screw that holds the cover on, or the cap, but you can get those for cheap. I have two of those that take the old Coleman fuel. I have one that takes propane, and in all reality, I've really since the LED ones came out and I made my own LED one it's just the, the, the new LED stuff is so bright and uses so little electricity there's just no real reason to have the Coleman fuel ones or even the propane unless you want to generate a lot of heat they do good for that And on to the next store. Let's grab a janky cart. Oh, I should talk about those green signs. There's a sign up on the wall that says basically that uh, if you work here, you can't shop here, and the prices are non negotiable. Uh, and a few other things like that. I thought I might have a picture of one, and if I do, I'll throw it in here. All right, let's see what we got here. Filters, jigsaw, a heater.
This is the most stuff I've seen in this location in a long time. Usually I come in here and the shelves are completely bare. Not a lot of really interesting stuff though, but at least there's something. That is either a breast pump or a nebulizer. I didn't bother to read it. Bluetooth speaker for an iPhone, or speakers for an iPhone. Uh, another organ. This one they wanted, I think, $24 for it, which is closer to a reasonable price. A lot of times they want $100 for them, and I've seen them as low as 9 They're worth about 9 There's only certain organs that are really worth a lot of money. And even then, it's not the organ itself, it's certain specific internal parts. Oh, this this is ridiculous. This is a, a scroll saw, or, and they want $74 for it. Just nuts. I bought one at a, a better one at a smart, a, a swap meet. For I think it was twenty twenty five bucks. Every time I went by that thing, it smelled like fish, a freezer or something. Didn't want to open it. Projector missing the lens. This thing, I looked it up and it, I couldn't get an exact price on it, but I've seen it on Amazon. It showed that it had been char or priced as much as eleven $1 hundred dollars, with other prices between eight hundred and two hundred, and it uh, an eight. An amplifier for eight speakers at 35 watts a piece. Gonna pop in and look and see if they've got anything in the way of. frying pans uh, but I'm in the wrong aisle no cast iron so on to the next And this is the last one of the day, so grab a janky cart. This is another one that I I tend to skip. Um, oftentimes it's really crowded and picked clean. 
It always has stuff on the shelves, but it just seems like there's n never anything really interesting. real mower just in the middle of an aisle. Lots and lots of those iPhone speakers, radios, alarm clocks. Tons of those constantly showing up. Just as usual, there's really nothing here at this this one. Computer power supply on the shelf there. Looks like someone someone was camped out right there. Not really sure, but it just seems like someone had built a little nest. One last quick pass through, but uh, there's just nothing here. I think we'll just call it a day. Anyways, I hope you guys found this interesting. Anyone who actually watches this. Until the next one, I'll see you later.